Take a deep breath and notice your whole body from head to toes. The inquiry today is to look at despair, how despair is felt in the body and what kind of thoughts come with that, what happens to the breath. So as we're looking at the breath, notice if there's kind of a reluctance to breathe in. With anxiety, there's often a holding of our breath. Instead of breathing out smoothly, we hold our breath. Notice if that pattern's here, or perhaps if when you get to the end of the exhale, there's a bit of a reluctance to breathe in the freshness of the inhale. So in this part of the practice, we're really just looking to see what is the rhythm of the breath. Sometimes we have kind of a long sighing out breath. And then a hesitation or a a pause, a long pause before we breathe in. So notice if that's happening, notice what's going on in your body. And then start to take some deeper, more even breaths and see, see that experience, what happens then. So if you inhale more fully, where do you feel that? And then as you exhale, just exhale the same amount as you inhale. And as soon as you're finished with that, come right back into the inhale. So if you have a nice full inhale to three, exhale to three. And then whether you feel like it or not, inhale again, inhale to three. Keep kind of a mental count on your breath as you really regularize and even out your breath. Just do this practice for a bit. Even diaphragmatic breathing, continuous, smooth, And then be aware of your whole body again, from head to toes. And the first scan we'll do with the body will be about muscle tightness or contraction. Start from the top of the head and notice if your eyebrows and forehead could soften a bit more. Notice your eyes, your cheeks and your mouth the hinges of your jaw, your mouth, your tongue, your throat. Is there anything in your face or your mouth that could be softened? And down into your throat and neck, sides of the neck, the back of your neck, your shoulders. Notice if your shoulders are kind of up around your ears or if there's tightness there, or if maybe they're kind of slumped, there's no energy in the shoulders or neck. Notice the back of your body, the back of your shoulders, the upper back, all of those muscles. And notice the front as well, your chest, your stomach.
And notice your arms and hands, your legs and your feet. And expand your awareness to include your whole body again, head to toes. And let's play for a moment with different kinds of, of sensations or experiences in the body. So let's start with despair. What does it feel like in your body? So you might be feeling it right now, or it might be a memory. It might be something you're really familiar with, or maybe not so much. Bring up an experience of feeling like that. And notice what does it feel like in your body? Where in particular do you feel it? Is it a pressure in the chest? Is it some other sensation or energy in your body? Just tune into that. What does it feel like when you feel despair? And what kind of thoughts are in your mind? Again, you might be working with an experience that's happening right now or a memory of an experience. What are typically, what are the thoughts that are in your mind when you feel that? It's a kind of a hopelessness about despair. And as you bring up the thoughts, you could do some tapping on them. You could put some space around them. Look at the space on the outside. Let your eyes go around that a few times. You don't have to do that with thoughts. We could also just sit and look at them. But if they're feeling really sticky, you can either tap or trace. And otherwise, we're just sitting back looking. This is a mindfulness practice. We're looking to see what are some of the thoughts that are in our mind when we feel despair. Are they familiar? Do we always have the same four thoughts? Notice your experience with that. And then set that aside. We're going to come back to that again. Bring to mind a time when you felt really angry. It might be a recent memory. It might be you're feeling angry right now. It might be something from the past. Just bring to mind the whole situation. See the images. Hear the words. Maybe you're angry at somebody. They're angry at you and you got angry back some injustice was done. Bring that to mind and really notice what are the thoughts, the images and words, and what's going on in your body as you remember that. Notice your breath, what changes are there in your breath? I'm really mad. Notice the thoughts that are in your mind. What are the thoughts? Notice if you're getting hooked by them, getting kind of drawn back into the story. That's a common experience for us. Often we'll ruminate on things that cause us to be angry. We'll chew on them a bit. So notice specifically now where exactly it is in your body and what exactly does it feel like? Is it hot? Is it cold? Is it moving? Is it still? 
you have an image of it? And notice what is the same about it as it was to despair and what's different? What's different in the sensation? What's different in the breath? And then let that come to a rest. And now let's look at anxiety. Bring to mind a time when you felt anxious or fearful. Might be that kind of subtle uneasiness or it might be more of a panicky, stronger experience. But notice what it feels like in your body. Notice your breath as well. What changes when you remember a time when you felt anxious? Is there any tightness or contraction in your body that wasn't there before? If that's the case, you could soften that and let it relax. Remember that we're doing a mindfulness practice, so we're bringing up a situation to really look at it and feel at it. We're not trying to distance ourselves from it. And we're also not in the situation anymore. We're thinking about a situation or thinking about something that we feel anxious about. Notice the images, the words. What are your thoughts about this? Are you judging yourself for being anxious? Notice what's going on in the mind. And then come back to that even breathing again. Whatever your length of inhale is, make your exhale be the same length. As soon as you finish breathing in, let your breath go. And then let's come back to despair. We could do all kinds of different examples of this. It's interesting to do that as well. For now, let's come back to despair. Notice if you're feeling it right now in your system, meaning your body, your breath, your thoughts. You could look at that word, despair. Maybe there's other words too. Desperate, hopeless, it'll never change. Let's look at the words for a moment. What are the words that come up for you as we're looking at despair? Hear the sounds, look at the words as though they're written out. Tap on them or trace if you need to. And where is that feeling located in your body? And how would you describe that feeling to yourself? Is it, does it have a sharp boundary? Does it feel like heaviness or pressure? Is there an energy to it or a lack of energy? Let the words move to the side and just focus on the energy or sensation itself. Where exactly is it located in your body? Notice the space around it. So at some point that sensation is not, not feelable anymore. It's gone. Notice where that point is. If there's a heaviness in your chest, do you feel it through your shoulders, through your belly, or is it just the chest?
and notice your breath, even as you're paying attention to the sensation. See if you could maintain the even, continuous breath. You could go right into the center of that feeling if you like. And so you're experiencing this moment from the inside of that. And we could sit with that. You could do the thank you phrases and the mining. So right to that energy as you're in the middle of it. Or if it doesn't feel like it's accessible like that, then just Put your attention around the edges of it. Thank you for being here. Thank you for arising. I love you. You're welcome to stay. And I really want to know why you're here. What is it that you want me to know or you want to hear from me? Why is it that you're here? And then let's sit with that for a bit. This despair is here, and I'd really like to know more about that. Keep bringing your attention back to your body and your breath. And your intention to really welcome this despair energy and to know more about it. To really invite it forward. What exactly does it feel like What does it want? Why is it here? And if there's a feeling of hopelessness or something, what's the evidence that it has for that? Maybe there's some past experiences that have led to that. And you could have a look at that from this moment in time. Often when we have those experiences, we're much younger. And it's really a an experience of feeling powerless or something. Let's see if you can maintain that mindfulness perspective, the witness, as you invite that to be here. Lots of attention to your breath. And then set that practice aside. If it feels like there's more to look at there, then set your intention to do that. Either stay with it now or that you'll come back to it. And before we finish, just notice what it felt like. I want to notice the difference in your body between the different states. Despair, anger, 
and anxiety or fear. And then when we settle back in to really look at despair, what was your experience with that? Was it possible? What were your thoughts in the different experiments? Was your breathing any different? Was it okay to continue to work with your even breath or did that feel a bit odd? Notice what your experience was. And notice in particular if the despair feels like it could be welcomed or if there was a lot of pushing away of that. It's not a comfortable feeling, that's for sure. And then focus again on your breath, let go of the inquiry. Take a few deeper breaths, let your energy kind of activate again. And then when you're ready, open your eyes. <laughs>